Okay, Taurus, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take a deeper look into you all's romantic relationship. This is your partner, potential partner's energy. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising people. Show me Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Seven of Swords. Taurus, be careful. You are the second house of finances, luxury, the finer things in life. That's the Nine of Pentacles. So you need to be careful with the Seven of Swords. I'm pretty sure you know that. You would have standards. You're the Nine of Pentacles, so you wouldn't be letting any and everybody around your life romantically or non-romantically. And it would be not because of what you have, but because of who you feel that you are like that. Okay. So that's that. Somebody's coming back into your life. The King of Wands and the Sun. Some of you, some of the Taurus men are a fire sign. They're Leo. There's a Taurus man with a Leo. Um, he could have a Leo sun sign. His moon could be in Taurus or it could be vice versa. Some of you could be dealing with Leo. You have Leo here strongly, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or this is a very handsome man. Okay, Taurus, this could be, okay, this could be about the feminine energy. Okay, now... Okay, there could be a, a, a man, a masculine. This is your partner, a potential partner. He's watching you. Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Okay. If, if, if this is the same person, because this could be two different people here. If this is the same person, it's somebody that you, Taurus, you, you were the Seven of Swords, or they were the Seven of Swords. There could have been a little bit of deception. Because the Seven of Swords would show that inner deception. Also, I also feel this. I'm feeling a lot. I feel that you all have a lot going on. You had an empress. Somebody could have been married. The King of Wands could represent a married man. But it also be somebody could be pregnant. Okay, it could also be about okay, somebody could be strategizing about a union and bringing a union together. Strategizing some type of a new beginning. Moving something forward. Somebody is, I don't even want to say Taurus that they're coming back into you. Like, I feel that they never really left it. They kept their eye on you or they kept you kind of close but still distant. Because they kind of knew what their end result decision was going to be. They're not going to tell you the truth of what was happening in the mid of any type of separation. They're not going to give you all the details of the truth. Because they feel that this is what they're feeling. They can feel that, well, is is kind of irrelevant. That this is going to be about them strategizing a forward movement for you two and where you're headed. They can want to pick up with things. They could be want to pick up from the present and move things forward. And, and they come in not just coming in with no plan they come in kind of strategic so do you you all could be dealing with someone that is strategic and i i feel that things will work in their favor tars with you unless you're their wife and then you would be the empress and this would be a married man but it would be your husband i feel that it, it things would be this person is strategic Meaning that they know that whatever has happened, 
they kind of don't owe you any explanation because you two aren't married and you're not committed. It's like when two single people meet one another and there's potential for a relationship to happen, but it doesn't. And you're wondering what the person was doing or why it didn't happen, but you don't really have any right to know because you don't have any dibs on the person because you're not married or committed to them. That's that kind of that they that kind of puts the something in their favor as it relates to the 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 chances being high that if you're reasonable, you'll be able to pick up from where you two start the day and the strategy they have for moving you two forward. Somebody has that type of mentality. They come with the sun. Us, you Tars, if this is a third party relationship, there could be a man on the outside watching you go into a union. Oh, somebody watching somebody go into a union. Somebody watching somebody get into a romantic relationship. Like that is here also. But I feel that it will be more the energy around whatever you and someone are whatever is going to happen between you two, you and a person. The, the, what you can expect from this person is that you can expect them to, you can expect them, they'll apologize if that feels, if they feel that an apology will put you in the present moment so that they can move things forward. So they'll apologize for that because you may feel that you're old one, but they can feel that you're really not they had not made you two were not married or committed so but if you getting an apology will make you feel better they'll give it to you if it's going to put you in the present moment and you'll be more willing to move to the future like that somebody is that way about a new beginning and getting into a partnership so they'll be willing to deal with whatever they think based on what they know about you they need to say or do in order for you to get in the present and you two to move forward they're kind of like that because this would be you getting in the new beginning that you actually wanted. Okay. It's just that you didn't get it when you wanted it. Now, it could be for whatever reason. And they can also feel Taurus here. Because this is your partner, potential partner, this energy. That, that okay. If, that, if, if, that, that what they were doing while you two weren't together, you, it's like, and they tell you. It could be true or it could be untrue what they tell you. Or if it's true, you could take it as untrue. But, okay. But. So. Why not just be in the present and move things forward? They could be kind of like that. Because they could feel that at the end of the day. They should, the only thing that they could would feel the need to apologize for is if they treated you negatively. They don't feel that they need to apologize for whatever they were doing with somebody else like that. Unless this was your husband and then this is you as his wife. Then it would be different. Okay. It's like that. They will feel that they will owe you an apology. Maybe if they block you. Maybe if they disappear. Maybe if they ghosted you. Maybe if they were treating you badly and they, like that. They're an apology for that. Yeah. But apology for what they were doing with somebody else. This King of Wands is bold and confident they don't feel that they need to owe you any type of explanation for um because this is uh, they don't feel that they owe you any explanation of where i was here at eight o'clock and i was there on in october the second because you're not their wife and they had not were not committed to you because this is about the clarity about a deception but it's just somebody you were not committed to unless this king of ones is your husband he looks like he's though somebody else's husband okay or he looks like he is wants to be your husband, but whenever what was going down was going down, he wasn't your husband and had not made himself committed to you. So he feels that just like he was free to do whatever, you were free to do whatever also. And if you weren't doing whatever, that's on you. But he doesn't owe you any type of explanation other than an apology if there, your, your feelings were hurt because he didn't report to you or give you the, what you would have got if you were his marriage partner, if he was committed to you. That's the king of wands. This could be opened up as a Leo. So this is somebody that wants to go to the present for, which regarding you two. And if there is an apology to be made for them, it towards you, it would be maybe maybe if they treated you negatively or blocked you or ignored you or like that. Okay, this uh, as far as prioritizing the relationship, this person is feeling that you weren't a wife, so there wasn't a relationship to prioritize. They had not made an official commitment to you, so there wasn't a relationship to prioritize. 
Now, if you were having sex with them and you thought that mental relationship, stop having sex with people, wait till you're married to them or have an official commitment like that. It could be that. With this, Leo, is could be arrogant and it has the seven of swords with it. Okay. So, and honestly, truthful, we're in Sagittarius season and I'm in Sagittarius sun sign. So, it's like that. Now, unless you're their wife, because somebody's wife is sitting here or they have a wife. Okay. Now, they want you to be the wife. Now, they feel that when you're the wife, you get declared and you get all the stuff that goes with the wife like that. Or when there's an official relationship, you get all that goes with the wife. Now, I would say, Taurus, you should be carry yourself like the empress and get them all that goes with being a husband once they're your husband. Okay, we're going to lay the rest of your spread and lay the, the, their cards and clarify them. The link is in the description box below this video per usual. Bye.